We are now solving problem 24 from the AMC 10B from 2020. How many positive integers n satisfy n plus 1000 over 70 is equal to the floor of the square root of n? Recall that this floor of x is the greatest integer not exceeding x. So it's basically rounding down, and if it's already an integer, you just keep it there. So, so how do we like do this? Let's just first consider where without the floor function, n plus one thousand over seventy is equal to the square root of n. Um, now we can do n plus 1,000 is equal to 70 times the square root of n. We want to square both sides to get rid of the square root. So we get n squared plus 2,000 n plus 10 to the power of 6. I'm just multiplying this out. This is equal to 4900 zero, zero, n. Now we want to get a zero on one side and all the terms on the other side because this looks like a quadratic. We get the n squared minus 2900n plus 1 million is equal to zero. Um, well, let's see here. This is some really big numbers, but we can still factor this out because 2 500 times 400 is a million. So let's just do that. This this then becomes n minus 2 500 times n minus 400 is equal to zero. Now you might go and say, oh look, there's are two answers that work, or the answer is two, but that that's not the case. We want to test like all the possible values here. We have two close values of n, where now we can test the values that divide by se that can be divided by 70 around these two numbers just to check if they work. So there's n is equal to 400, and n is equal to 2,500. We have to keep on testing values of n near these numbers where we get that n for, so after like testing all these values, we get n is 470, there's a 470 here, there's two, n is equal to, n is equal to 2290, um, n is equal to 2360, n is equal to 2430, and n is equal to 2, 500. You're just like subtracting increments of 70 since they're already divisible by 70. So we just wanna, these, again, these are only the six that work. You have to test out like all of them just to check if you're not missing any multiples. Once you check you're not missing any multiples, you count them up and our answer is six.